Hey guys, it's Janie. So today I want to talk to you about how it's important to have a girl tribe. So this is really for girls, but men, if you want to listen in, I think it's probably a good educational point for you too. Um, I'm lucky. My husband has never, ever tried to tell me what to do, who to see, anything. Um, we dated in our 20s, went our separate ways, and then got back together in our 30s. Um, we were just happened to be in the right place. We were in the right frame of mind. We were in the right, like the same exact point of life. We both were working out hard. We both weren't drinking. We knew we loved each other. We've never really ever had an argument. And so we started dating. Now, some girls, when they start dating, they lose all their friends. They don't have any. And um, I think that's wrong. I think you should keep your friend. I was watching this show called Doll Phase and it's really cute. The girl broke up after five years and had zero friends. Nada, not one. And I think the friends are important. Friends are important while you're dating because they keep you grounded to who you were. Everybody changes slightly in relationships. Some people change a lot. Think about it, sometimes you do. I mean, I've been guilty of it before, trust me. This is why I was 35 when I got married because I never could figure out who I was and keep it that way. I always ended up taking on a lot of attributes of who I was dating, like what they enjoyed. Never really gave thought to what I enjoyed. For years, I told people I liked football. I only like football when I'm drunk. So think about that. I've watched a lot of football games, which means I've been drunk a lot. I told y'all I'm real. This is where we are in life. As you grow in your relationship with somebody, whether it's friends or a partner, you should be able to be your authentic self. You should be able to talk about anything with that person and be yourself at all points in time. I will say my husband and I are at a point now that it's really fun because we both are completely authentic with each other. There's no pretenses. There's no like hiding things. Like we just take each other for who we are and we love each other, which is amazing. Um, but back to the girlfriends, but you need friends because they keep you grounded. You need friends because they remind you of who you were and they can give you memories that you remember that are hilarious. Um, you know, they're the ones who have been up with you crying over lost boyfriends. They're the ones who have danced with you until the sun rose the next day and then it was noon out. <laughs> and so I urge you to definitely find those friends. And if you're in a relationship right now and you've lost your friends, find them. I have had to make a village in every place I've ever been. Um, I grew up in Tallahassee. I moved down to Miami and I knew no one. I mean, I knew two friends. I had like two guy friends down there and one girlfriend, that was it. And um, I had to make a village for myself. And I didn't make a big one. I um, had three people who I absolutely love, two of which I still talk to on a regular basis and I still adore, but those were my go-to people. Those were the ones that knew that if they called me at three in the morning, even though I had to be at work at eight in the morning, I would come pick them up, <clears throat> Nina. Um, <laughs> but there's still like, Tina, move me. We stayed up all night to pack me for Jacksonville because I didn't want to move out of Miami. And my parents were like, you're moving. And then I moved to Jacksonville and I had my college bestie, but she was in the middle of her life with, you know, pregnant and about to have a baby. So I had to build a village there. I joined junior league, which was amazing experience. I mean, junior league was probably one of the highlights of, um, my twenties. Um, even in my thirties, I have been a member since 2004. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. I have served on board. Um, I have held various um, leadership experience or uh, positions. Actually, all all but my first two years were all leadership experience. Oh, sorry, all but my first year was all leadership experiences. Once I got out of my professional year, it was all leadership. Um, but my point being, when I moved to Jacksonville, I didn't know hardly anybody. Like it was like one person, and then the girl downstairs from me was amazing, and I loved her. Um, but she wasn't really where I wanted to be in life. So I joined Junior League. And sometimes I felt like a fraud because I'm definitely not rich. Um, I wasn't married. I was single. Um, I wasn't in a sorority in college, which a lot of girls go from sorority to Junior League. But Junior League is a 
nonprofit of all women. It was built by women for women to teach them skills and to improve the community that we live in. And every junior league has their own mission statement, but that sums it up. We teach women leadership skills. We volunteer in the community and not just volunteer, but we make a difference. We find places that need help and we help start something and then we give it to the community to continue running once it's up and running and solid. It's a really cool system. So that way we're constantly helping the community in different ways and then we're constantly teaching the community how to do it themselves as well and that way they can run with it. I met amazing women in there, amazing women. And by far, that is probably one of, I mean, it is one of my top experiences in my life. Um, I met women that I aspired to be like. I met women that I knew that I would never be there, but oh my God, that life would be amazing. Um, but sometimes I felt like a fraud because I'm not living in a huge mansion. You know, I was living in a 1924 bungalow that I was very proud of, but before that it was a one bedroom apartment. Um, and I was just fumbling along like everybody else, but I had a village. I had an amazing village and I built that village by investing in women and they invested in me. I actually talked to my little sister, little sister Kat yesterday and it was amazing. She's one of those people that I invested time in and she invested time in me and she's still part of my village even though she's in Tennessee. She's still part of my village. I still can call her and talk to her and we can still reminisce of times when we were single and playing and whatnot. Um, and then we moved to Tallahassee, uh, back to Tallahassee again. And it was hard because my old village is in a different season of life with me. And we live a little bit further down in the woods. And so we're far away from everybody, but I still need a village. I need it. I need it desperately. So I have been building a village myself. I have gone out and there's an adult gymnastics class and I'm starting to make friends there. Um, I'm rekindling friendships with friends who were, you know, that are in a different season of life, but are proximity are a little bit closer to me. I've built a new village. I've got my best friends from high school who we picked up like nothing left off. They are a huge part of my village. My village isn't large, but it's small and it's with women who empower me and women who want me to be a better person and I want them to be a better person. I want to lift them up because lifting them up lifts me up. It doesn't take a big village. You can find one other person to be in your village, but you need that connection to other women. We have a special gift of finding the little things in life and making them into special things. You need your friend to laugh with. You need your friend to cry with. You need your friend to help lift you up and you need to help lift your friends up. It's an amazing, amazing symbiotic relationship that we have with our girlfriends. We can be each other's best friends or worst enemies, right? How about this? Stop being the worst enemies with any other world and just lift her up. It doesn't matter if Susie Q called you a bitch. Honey, bless your heart. What can we do for you? How can I help you out? Figure this out together. She's probably in a bad place. That's okay. Treat her with kindness. Treat her with love. Help lift her up and I guarantee you it will feel so much better than that revenge that you previously would have thought about doing. Girls, we've got to lift each other up. There's nobody else to do it. I love my husband and I know he loves me, but there are some things my girlfriends are just better at doing. They're better at noticing, hey, you got a haircut, you look cute. Hey, you lost some weight. Dang, girl. He doesn't notice any of that stuff. He could care less. And I love him for it. And I love that he loves me when I'm singing stupid songs at the kids or whatever. It's amazing that I can be authentic with him. That's amazing. But you also need your girlfriends. You also need just to have a night of laughing. You also need a lot, night of just being you. I need a night of being Jamie every Monday. I'm not mama. I'm not wife to Bobby. I am Jamie. And that is an amazing, amazing thing. Okay, so sorry for this super long-winded video, but I think it's important for you to understand all of these aspects of why it's so important. It's important for you to have friends and it's important for you to have a village and it's important for you to lift up other women and it's important for them to lift you up too. Be the change in the world that you want to see. Be it. Be the kindness. 
be the happiness, be the person who lifts people up. That's it, signing off.